Alright guys, welcome back and in this tutorial I'm going to start talking to you about broadcast intents and broadcast receivers. Now it's a little weird concept to understand at first but essentially what a broadcast is is when your app sends out a system wide message kind of like a radio broadcast it doesn't really have any specific target it's just sending out this really broad message. Now the reason that this happens is because you can make other things called broadcast receivers and whenever your broadcast receiver says oh look at that that message is something I want then you can make your app do whatever I don't know like whatever functionality you want so what we're gonna be doing in this example I know it's kind of like hard just for me to like talk talk about it and explain it but in this example what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making two entirely different Android projects and these projects are gonna essentially communicate with one another so how cool is that before of course we could do things with different classes and stuff but never before have we created two entirely different projects and have them be able to communicate with each other so go ahead and start a brand new project this is gonna be our first one and I'm gonna name this one um, send broadcast so one of the projects is gonna act like that radio tower it's gonna be responsible for just sending out that um, system-wide broadcast in their other project is gonna be like hey I actually want to do something whenever I got that message so you know that's what's going on so click next that looks good right there next and we want to set this one is a blank activity sweet alright so for the activity name um we can just leave it as main activity right now it doesn't really matter all right so here is our very first activity and our very first project so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add one button to the screen and whenever we click it it's gonna send out that broadcast to the entire phone to anything that's listening for it and in another project we're gonna set up a, it's something called um, a broadcast receiver it essentially is just gonna listen for this specific broadcast and then we'll just I don't know like print out some text on the screen or something so the first thing I want to do is just add a button and I'll change the text of this button to send broadcast I also want to change the ID of this to send button and the last thing I want to do is I want to add a real quick, quick on click function and this function we'll just call it send out broadcast not broadcast broadcast alright so three attributes and again this is an alternate way to essentially add this right here so again whenever we click it it's gonna call this method send out broadcast in this method it isn't included we're gonna to have to write this in just a second but essentially like I said what it's gonna do is it's gonna send out a system-wide broadcast to your entire phone whatever's listening can uh, perform some kind of action so now let's hop over to our main activity and let's just go ahead and import all the stuff we need to import so Android dot content dot intent and I spelled Android wrong so make sure you don't do that and of course import Android dot view dot view alright so the only thing that we need to do here is we need to build one method and that method is send out broadcast because that's the only thing that this activity and this project essentially is going to do so public void send out broadcast view view so the first thing we need to do is we just need to make an intent so intent I instead equal to new intent now remember before I said whenever you make an intent intent generally what you do is you put some kind of class in here and then it looks for that class for example remember we had that baking class in the last tutorial and it just pops it up into a new screen however this is a special kind of intent because it doesn't have an explicit 
um, class or another screen that it's going to call. It's just going to kind of broadcast a weird message to anyone that's listening. So that's why we don't need to throw a class right in there. So after this, what we need to do is take that intent and call a method on it called set action. Now for right now, just copy this package name right here and throw it in here as a string. Now the reason that we need to set action on all of our broadcast intents is this. Say that you have a bunch of different programs on your phone and they're all sending out these broadcasts. Well maybe we want to uh, make a program later on but it only wants to listen for broadcasts from this application. So again, if we have like a hundred different, or not a hundred, that's unrealistic. If we have like 10 different apps and they're all sending out broadcasts, well, we don't want to listen for all of those. We only want to listen for this broadcast, for this intent. So the set action is essentially a keyword that, I don't know, it's like, this is the keyword for this broadcast. That's essentially what it does. So another thing that I want to do real quick is something called add flags and intent flag include stopped packages. Now you don't really need to um, memorize this. Just make sure you have it in there every time. It's just because they change the Android operating system and just to make sure that this intent broadcast is compatible with all versions of Android you need to have this so you know that's kind of their fault nothing that we did so the last thing of course in order to send that broadcast you just send it out just like that so now as soon as we click this button what's gonna happen is it's gonna call send out broadcast and what send out broadcast does is it's just gonna say okay I'm sending out this broadcast can anyone hear me this broadcast is going out to the universe I'm sending it out so of course that's what it does in in the next tutorial what we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up something called a receiver in a brand new project and it's going to accept this or wait for this to happen and then we'll just make something cool happen whenever it occurs